Shavua Tov, everybody. Wishing you all a good week. Last night we had a beautiful Havdalah experience. Over a hundred of us joined together on Zoom to uh, take the Shabbos out and to share and connect as a community. I feel so connected to everybody right now. It's absolutely incredible. And at the Havdalah, I shared the following comment that the Talmud says a very curious statement. It says that if a person takes large steps, it will diminish their eyesight. What does that mean? So I shared that it's an allegory. When does a person take large steps? When they're in a rush. They're in a hurry to get from point A to point B. And that's all they can focus on. What does it mean that it diminishes one's eyesight? It means that they miss everything that's going on around them. There's so much in our lives that we're missing because we're in such a rush to get from one place to another. What's the solution? What's the remedy? The Talmud says, Kiddush and Havdalah, which means the beginning of Shabbat and the end of Shabbat. And of course, what it means is everything in between, Shabbat itself. That is the remedy for this, this disease that we have of rushing and racing and going from one place to another without stopping. I want to share with you a couple of reflections from this beautiful Shabbat challenge that we gave everybody. Somebody wrote about her Shabbat, loved Shabbat so much, shared the table with my family, made two beautiful challahs. We stayed at the dinner table for the longest time we ever have as a family. We laughed, we had time. I love talking to my husband in bed the first thing in the morning as opposed to grabbing for my phone. Enjoyed a long conversation and prayer to God. I loved that I could look at my kids immediately when they came over to me without first having to finish what I was doing on my phone. Loved moving slowly and having time. Somebody else wrote, the most pleasant and unexpected change by far for me has been my decision to embrace what I believe the world is being summoned to do right now, Shabbat. For the first time outside of my trip to Israel with Momentum in 2018, I tried to keep Shabbat. Restaurants and movies are closed. Stores are closed. Travel is closed. The gym is closed. Classes are closed. Heck, even houses of worship are closed. We are literally being forced into the one place that is still open to us, our home and our family. Maybe this is the message of Corona, that the we are, that where we are supposed to be is our home. All those things outside are nice, but they should not be our focus. Our home and our family should take up our energy. So that's what I tried to do. From sundown to sundown, I focused on my home and my family. I turned off my phone. I had prepared a beautiful dinner. We lit Shabbat candles, said the blessings on the wine and the challah. We ate in the dining room where there's no TV. Afterwards, we played a game the next day. I read the weekly Torah portion, which started with Moses recounting the importance of keeping the Sabbath. I can't believe that this is a coincidence given what the world is experiencing right now. I took a walk with my daughter and played with her outside. I played a card game with all my kids. I sat quietly with my thoughts. I took an afternoon nap. It's amazing how tiring doing nothing can be. Then, when it was all over, I logged in through Zoom to the most beautiful Abdullah service with my rabbi, his wife, and family, and over a hundred others to mark the separation between the holy and the mundane. It had been quite an uneventful day, a day where I could just be without news or noise. I just might try it again sometime. But for now, it's back to the real world. Oh, that's right. It's still closed. I guess I'll stay home and see how I can make the best of it. I think I'll spend all that time and energy I used to run around to figure out how I can be better when this is all over and how my home and my family will come out better on the other side. Beautiful remarks. Wishing everybody a really special week. Reach out and stay connected. And tonight we'll do at 645, we'll do a virtual afternoon evening service with a little bit of learning in between. So look for the Zoom link and join us for that tonight and stay, stay tuned for our classes this week. Shavuot Tov.